my ski gear away for another six months. There's our Christmas jigsaw puzzle. Puzzle keeper thing there. Oh, but not bump my head. Very low loft. Packing has commenced. Look. Hand knitted socks in my suitcase. These are both by my friend Karen, my Instagram friend Karen. She is photo3p. If you want to go and drool over incredible knitting, nature, socks, um, hand dyed, naturally dyed yarn, then you want to go and look at Karen's page. It's blooming gorgeous. Yeah, look, gorgeous socks. Love them. Um, I oh, realise I was showing you my knickers as well. Sorry about that. So packing has commenced. Also, we have collected over the last seven years since we've been coming to our chalet, a load of bed linen, duvet covers, pillows and things that we've ended up not needing. Long story as to why we, we accumulated them all. But anyway, I'm going to take them home because Toby has a motorhome that he goes and does his racing in. And obviously we have the tent up in the summer and we have lots of people coming to stay. And we've got the barn where people stay. Oh my goodness, I've just had the biggest heart palpitation saying all of that. It's weird. As much as I love... Well, this is a bit boring. What can I show you instead? Because I haven't put my makeup on yet and I'm going to put my makeup on with you guys in a second and I don't want you having to look at my scary face for too long. Yes, as much as I really enjoy having, spending time with friends and family and having people visit us and sharing things with us, I find it really anxiety inducing. It really stresses me out. It's the thought of it, not the actual time when the people are there. But it's just, it's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot of prep and then time out of your normal life because you're entertaining. And then a lot of um, reparation. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so it does make me a bit anxious. And I find the summer months are particularly busy. Right, let's go downstairs. I've got my makeup bag here. It's a work in progress, everybody. So it's not as eco as I'd like it to be just yet. I can't believe I'm sitting here. <laughs> no makeup on, looking as awful as I do. So I will just crack on really fast and get this face sorted. <laughs> this is dreadful. I cannot hardly bear to look at myself. Okay, now I'm going to put my concealer on. Because you can see I need it. And currently I'm using one by Tarte. I looked up the credentials of it and it's not a bad environmental um, or like a dirty makeup. It's quite clean in its ingredients, but it's not brilliant in that respect. I mean, it, it's good stuff. Look at that. Oh, that is such a massive spot. I've got a lot of redness around my nose, probably because I drink too much wine. And a lot of pigmentation around my chin, because I get a lot of spots there. And now that I'm closer to 50 than I am 40, I'm getting quite hairy. Now, this colour is too pale for me. But I'm trying to use it up. There, that looks better already. I've also got quite a lot of pigmentation up here. Let's just scribble over that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the, the concealer I've used is called Shape Tape by Tarte. But I don't want to advertise it too much because I'm looking for a better eco and clean alternative. But for now, it's fine. I'm using it up. And I use this full coverage touch-up brush by Bobbi Brown. And it definitely needs a wash. Let's just get the rest of it out there. Oh, my neighbour's just texted me. 
he's got a damp problem his um, house backs onto our garden so he's he was meant to be popping into the garden to have a look right next next you may be fooled into thinking that this is a 30 year old pot from body shop and you'd be right actually the pot is 30 odd years old but the contents are brand new i've taken the sticker off to put on here what it is this is something i want to shout from the rooftops it's a mineral foundation by a company called all earth <clears throat> i'm going to put a picture of it in it comes in lit a little almost like a lip balm tube but it's bigger and it's cardboard and it's um it's just wonderful because it's got nothing horrendous in here and it comes in cardboard so it's zero waste and um it works really well when i wash my face in the evening and get a flannel cotton flannel or flannel or a linen cloth or whatever i don't use those disposable wipes even if it says that they're eco and flushable because they've just got lots of nasty things in them usually anyway it's <laughs> i'm not a skin flint but i'd rather just have a reusable flannel that costs me 50p from tesco's and is 100 percent cotton and i can just fling it in the wash and reuse it anyway when I wash my face, loads of this comes off, which shows that it stayed on all day long. Now, I'm using this flat brush. It looks really disgusting because it is out of the top of a, um, a different mineral foundation that I've used up. But the brush I really liked. So I'm just reusing it rather than throwing it out. All you do is sprinkle it on. And then sort of put your head down or it might fall off and press it around your face. And then really go for it. Rub it right in. This stuff is so great for my skin that although I do still get spots, they're predominantly hormonal rather than problematic because of my makeup. This has been much better. It's really helped. Rub it all in. The really nice thing about this is it kind of rectifies any stuff that looks a bit of a funny colour because my con my concealer isn't the right colour. Right. Now I look a bit ghostly, don't I? I'm very, very flat. Let's put that to one side. But what I'm going to do next is, uh, what am I going to do next? What do I normally do next? I'm going to put my blusher on. Doing things in a funny order. I feel like I've forgotten how to do this because you lot are watching. I'm not going to show you my blusher because it's a very horrible one from a horrible company. <laughs> and it looks horrible and I don't want to promote it, but I'm using it up. Whack it on. I like rosy cheeks. Some people don't. I love them. The rosier, the better. There we go. A little bit on the end of the nose. Tiny bit up there. Lovely jubbly. Next, eyeliner. This is one I, I got free when I bought some Bobbi Brown stuff and I'm just using it up now. And I just take it slightly from the edge and in a bit, I'm gonna have to use my mirror. Scribble it on. Tickly eyes. I 
That's a bit boring because you can't see what I'm doing, can you? And I'm silent. I don't really like eyeliner pencils. I prefer eyeshadow and a thin brush, but I'm using it up. Um, I've left my mascara upstairs. Hang on. Mascara. I haven't found, and I was talking to Turnip about it, a mascara that I think is any use. Um, that's an eco one, unfortunately. So I'm still sticking with my preferred Lancome one, which is... Hypnose. Lancome Hypnose. And I like a lot of lash. So I do loads of coats. You get all those little ones. Because they all curl up. How do beauty bloggers do this? I'm already taking more time over this than I would normally. Put some on the lower lashes. Mascara face. Let's have that as my thumbnail. Okay. So I've just noticed that my spot is really crusty and it's got bits of skin sort of hanging off it. So I might take some time to carefully pull off those bits of skin. They're just dry and hanging there with my tweezers. But I think I'll do that. I'll do that off screen because it's going to look like I'm picking my nose. Right. So what's that? That is mascara, foundation, concealer, blusher. Now I've got this eyebrow pencil that Kerry sent me. Kerry is Teddy's godmother. So I'm just going to fill in the old eyebrows. They've started to get quite sparse down at the ends here. It's an age thing, I assume. And they've started to go long and wiry. And some of them have gone... Wow, they're a bit grey, quite honestly. Oh, do you know what I've forgotten to do? I've forgotten to put my eyeshadow on. My eyebrows are white. Good at this, aren't I? Right, the eyeshadow is... It's a metallic eyeshadow in champagne quartz. It's by Bobbi Brown again, and I'm using it up, and... If I can't find one that I like as much, then I'll get this again because you do have a re it, you can do a refill. But even so, this is plastic and I'd rather do without it. So oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so normally I would do this before I did my eyeliner. Pretend I did. There we go. The nice thing about a metallic is if you've got bony eyelids like me, I don't have a lot of flesh up here, is that um, it can help with where the light hits it. It makes it look like you've done that sort of contouring thing. I know I put a bit of blusher in there just now, but it makes you look a bit more sort of contoured, like you've spent a long time doing your makeup, which I don't. Let me just check. Ah, oh, hit my elbow. <sighs> Did hurt. Let me just check for eyebrows that I could pluck. They always show up better after you've put your foundation, uh, your powder on, your eyeshadow. I know you shouldn't pluck eyeshadowed skin, but what can I say? I'm a rebel. And let's just check my chin. I gave it a good look over yesterday. 
might not have any to get today. I've got such a big chin, haven't I? Look. Hmm. Last but not least, lipstick. Again, this is a one that I'm just using up. But I'm going to get them, I think, from Lush because you buy the bullet and then you just do the refill refills. But I haven't um, haven't looked into that yet because I've had a lot of lipsticks to use up. So there we go. There's my makeup. Can you see it? Is that a bit blurry or not? I've got four other things I want to talk about now. So there's my perfume. This is by the company Eden. It's got no nasty things in there, but it smells like a designer perfume. This one smells like eternity. It's got no parabens and phthalates. I'm going to squirt a bit of that on my... I still squirt it on my clothes, not my skin, because I don't want the chemicals. Even if there aren't any, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> but it makes sense. Next... I want to show you my deodorant. I've started using this. It's by Fussy. It's um, It's got probiotics in it. And after the sort of initial sweaty period while you're adjusting and getting rid of all that aluminium out of your armpits, you don't smell anymore. It's, it's wonderful. You will still sweat because you're not plugging up those pores. So if, if you... I hate sweating, which I actually hate. I hate, hate sweating, but I also don't like the idea of armpit cancer, <laughs> breast cancer. <laughs> so, so I just uh, put up with it. But it's not, it's not as bad as as I thought it would be, to be honest. Now and again, if I get a little bit too sticky, I just go and put a couple of sheets of toilet paper in my armpits, and that seems to do the job. Chuck them away. Happy days. This one smells lovely. Now, I do have, oh, yeah, I've forgotten what flavour it is, though. I do have a, I've got referral codes I can give, but I don't know if I, if it's like one referral code fits all, or if I would have to issue individual referral codes. So I'll try and put one down below. And hopefully it will work for at least one of you. It will give you something like 50% off. And, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And they change all the time. But you'll be getting healthy deodorant in a compostable tube. And I think that this um, cartridge is made out of plastic that is, um, you know, end of the road plastic or from the sea. Am I getting muddled? Don't quote me on that. You'll have to look it up for yourselves. Anyway, I like it. You can get all sorts of different colour cases. I do not know why I went for the grey. Tonight, when I take my makeup off, I'm going to be using this stuff, which I was given. Right, so I don't know how I stand here with ad sponsorship what have you. So what I'm going to say is one of my followers, subscribers, daughters, <clears throat> got in touch with me asking me advice on how to build a YouTube channel. I can't imagine I was the only person that she would have got in touch with because my channel is really quite tiny <laughs> in comparison to people out there who do it to drive their business forward or do it as a business. So I just gave her any of the little tidbits that I've kind of come across along the way. And then she was telling me about her business and what she wanted out of her YouTube channel. And she and I said, oh, your stuff looks absolutely lovely. She said, I'll send you some. So with no obligation for me to chat about this in any way, and I wouldn't have if I hadn't used it and 
really liked it. Now, the, the company's called Olive and Joyce. The lady who runs the company and makes all this stuff is called Emily. And she's just really lovely. Really lovely. And um, her products are really lovely as well, which is why I'm talking about them. I, I promise you I wouldn't be wittering on about them if I didn't really rate them. I won't go on for ages because I don't want it to sound like an advert waxing lyrical about how clean the products are and sustainable and all of that sort of thing. But I would urge you, if you're looking for that kind of thing to add into your skincare routine, just go over to at Olive and Joyce on Instagram and then pop to her website and just have a look, have a read. It's really lovely. So I'll be taking off my makeup with this Pro Aging Facial Cleanser. So she sent me the Eternal because I'm of that age, but she does things for teenagers and younger skin as well. And all this is, is one pump of this oily stuff. I rub it on my eyelashes. I, I pump it into my hand and then I pat a bit all over my eyelashes and then I rub the rest all over my face and I give myself a nice massage. And then I get my flannel, get really warm water, wring it out, give my face a rub. And it all comes off. <laughs> Obviously, I have to pay a bit more attention to my eyelashes because I spend ages on my eyelashes, <laughs> as you saw. Um, and, and it all comes off and this stuff smells lovely and I really like it. And then I follow that up with this Eternal Cream, which goes a really long way. I've been slathering Teddy in this because it has got ingredients in there that do act as a bit of a sunblock. But it's not, because it's got zinc oxide in it, it is not advertised as a sunblock. But because I read on there there's zinc oxide, I thought I'm going to try this on Teddy because he is so allergic to all sun cream out there. He ends up with just such thick, scaly, reactive, sore, cracking, eczema type skin, hot, burning, blistery, mini micro blisters, really awful. So we were trying to decide what is better to burn or to have this horrible, horrible reaction. So we decided it's better to have a horrible reaction. But I thought maybe we could avoid that. So I used this on him and my powder foundation, because that's also, it acts as a, um, as a physical barrier. So the poor kid's been going out with his mum's moisturiser on and then his mum's foundation, but he looked absolutely fine. The colour suited him and it didn't look cakey and horrible at all. I've been talking for so long. Hopefully I can cut some of this bit out. Well, I can, the bit where I ran upstairs to get my mascara. Um, yeah, so this this combined with my foundation to a degree did work really well for Teddy. And then we had a really high sunny, high UV ray day and he he got caught on the nose. Bless him, but he's all right, he's okay. Right, so that is, it's all gone funny, the light's gone funny. Is that better, is that more real? So that's me, that's my makeup. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to get published because I just feel so awkward. But there's been enough of you that have been interested. So I'll perhaps put it out. If I make it clear in the title, you can watch it or not watch it. It's up to you. But if any of you are still left here, thank you so much. And um, I'm having a bit of a crisis of confidence at the moment. So, <laughs> yeah. Would you mind letting me know if this was okay or if this was dreadful and to never repeat it again? Thank you, everybody. Bye.